So let me just run you through what I just went through about an hour ago. My first car accident I've ever been in. Just smashed in the front end of the Cummins. Fully regret even being out on the road now. Icy conditions, this is what happened. I'm driving along down the ocean front. I'm, I'm a little bit numb still. I just had a filling before that, so I'm still numb. I'm driving along the ocean front here in Campbell River and I'm putting along and next thing you know, there's a guy just stopped at a stoplight. <sighs> I'm kind of rattled right now. Okay, let me slow it down. This is what happened. I'm driving along, icy conditions, roads covered in ice, Sun's beating down. Um, buddy in front of me, he's way, I was not following too close. Like I was so far back. I could see him kind of sliding around. And I guess he was trying to stop for this light that was turning yellow. Uh, he had tons of time. I don't know why he was trying to stop. Next thing you know, so I'm starting to brake. And then I realized there is no brakes. You're just sliding. Uh, there's nothing I could do. I tried gearing down quickly. I put her down into second. Uh, nothing happened. I'm still just sliding same speed hitting the brakes. I'm turning. I'm trying to turn nothing's happening I just brace for impact wham smoke the back of this GMC Sonoma Sonoma or whatever Poor guy man poor guy. I, I Thank God nobody was hurt His truck was still driving, but it's written off for sure uh, We both pulled down a side street to change exchange information and uh, we're, He was really nice about it um, nicer than a lot of people would be if you just slammed into the back of him. He even admitted that maybe he should have tried to run that yellow because he was having a really hard time stopping and he was at, thank God he was watching me in his mirror so he knew the impact was coming. It was a bit weird. At first I thought it was my fault for just creaming into this guy even though it was nobody's fault. Um, we're on a skating rink out there. But after he started saying, okay, I should have maybe not tried to stop for that yellow light and I started realizing, okay, he was on the brakes hard and I, nobody's expecting it, right? So I feel terrible. He was nice about it. Um, we exchanged our information at the scene and we'll see what happens. But yeah, here I am about a month into owning the truck. I've been in my first car accident now and I'll post, you know, I'll, I'll show you a picture here. You'll probably see a picture just pop up. That's what his truck looked like. Um, a lot of damage to the back end. He was fine. He jumped out. He said he's not sore at all. He said tomorrow if he wakes up sore, he'll let somebody know. Um, but anyways, that's what happened. That's my documentation. It was a pretty casual rear ender. Didn't seem like anybody's fault. I'm probably at fault because the guy behind is always in fault, at fault. So it is what it is. I have good insurance. It just sucks that we all have to go through this and it just sucks that he has to go through that because my truck's still drivable. His is still drivable, but it's pretty mashed in. So I, I feel terrible. Here's the damage that I got so far. As you can see that hood, I've just slowly dropped down and it's way higher on the left side. Um, obviously smashed in the bumper, as you can see right here. And that got totally pushed in. This took a big hit, dented the hood and the grill there. But this is the biggest thing. Look at the gap here. Look at the gap here. This passenger door won't open. It's just shoved this whole front end out. Um, this wheel well it's pretty hard steel but it's bulged out here. So I got some repairs to make. Okay, so we got the bumper off, smashed out, back on. It's looking a lot more straight now. Getting there. Got this piece back on. Got a good knuckle duster, but that's fine. So now we're just gonna go ahead and over here I got the grill. We're gonna go and straighten up all the damage that got done to the grill. Throw that back on, get the headlight bezels back in, and we're looking pretty good.
Yeah, so I just got this letter in the mail. This letter is confirmed that you're 100% responsible for the January 7th crash. Still got the dash out. Oh! 